before the Amazing Spider-Man comes out, I would like to review the Sam Raimi trilogy, so that is what I will be doing. Let's get right down to it. Let's start off with the original Spider-Man. I mean, this film was very good. I enjoy it a lot. I mean, the camera angles are pretty good. I mean, they're nothing spectacular, but they're good. And I mean, this is a really cool, cool character, and Sam Raimi did it all very well. I mean, yeah, over-the-top performances at times, and let's, let's face it, the special effects weren't the best. And, you know, the Green Goblin suit was kind of weird, but I don't care. He was still awesome. Let me get into the acting. Now, Tobey Maguire was a awesome, awesome Spider-Man. It's going to be hard for Andrew Garfield to beat <sighs> Tobey Maguire. I lost my words there. I digress. And Kristen Dunst, she was very good in Mary Jane, but she's always kind of been... I, I don't know, I just always felt they had a very 1950s relationship, and I always felt they should have brought Black Cat in to make an interesting movie that could lead to some great battle, and I think that would be cool, but I digress. And I, I can't remember who played the Green Goblin, but the Green Goblin was very good. I felt like, I felt like, yeah, he did act over the top at times, but, I mean, that's kind of what made him kind of menacing, that he did act over the top for me. Like, that's something I've heard. Because there was some stuff in Spider-Man that went down, just like this. I mean, the script. These lines were very, very cheesy. The dialogue was cheesy. I mean, there's this line. He's in a burning house. And, um, Green Goblin says, Spidey, are you out? And then Spidey just replies, No, you're out, Gabby. Out of your mind. <laughs> it's a funny line because it is not that good of a line. I mean, the dialogue's pretty bad. Is this not fun to watch? First of all, I should probably have told you this at the beginning. These are micro-reviews, I mean, so... The micro-reviews, because I gotta get through all three. So, is this film good? Yes, it is. I'm going to give it my awesome sauce rating. And, like most micro-reviews, I won't be using the, uh, special effects or anything, just my editing software. Let's get into Spider-Man 2. Oh! Now, Spider-Man 2 stepped it up very much. I mean, first of all, the villain, Doc Ock, funny guy, he's kind of a weird concept that he has mechanical arms that talk to him. But he's still awesome. I probably should get to that yet. Let's get into the acting. Tommy Wilde, Christian Dunn, still bringing their A game. So, that's always good. James Franco, I forgot to mention him in my last review. He is a very, very great Harry Osborn. And now, spoiler alert, if you haven't seen the first Spider-Man, he, his father is dead, and he's out with a vengeance to find Spider-Man and kill him, which leads to Peter having to tell him, oh, yeah, Spider-Man's not that bad. He probably did kill your father. And, you know, he tries that for the whole movie, so that's a cool little side plot. And, you know, I love the character of Doc Ock, how there is parts where he is evil and he wants to cause havoc, but then it's also sort of like a burden and I also very much enjoy that concept. And I mean, Doc Ock, I don't know who plays him. I can't think, I can't think of who plays him. But he is a phenomenal Doc Ock. He's menacing at times, but he's, but you also feel for him at times when, you know, you can tell like, yeah, he loves being bad, but it's kind of a burden. I mean, so I love that. He's phenomenal. I could see no Doc Ock. And this one, is awesome. I mean, the villain is great. It, the risk are higher. And there was a great scene on the train where everyone, you know, bands together. And people have said the extras never seem legitimate. And, yeah, I understand that. But, I mean, I love that scene on the train. We have to stop the train to save everyone. And when they all, you know, pair together with, when he has his mask up. That, that's just a very good scene in my opinion. In the end, I love this movie. I'm going to give it a Insta Classic. Now let's get to Spider-Man 3. 
Okay, I'm gonna be honest to you, is that a lot of people all of a sudden would say this is a suck fest. I am not going to say that. I'm going to say this movie is not good. I mean, let's just... Too many characters is my first problem. And I mean, the acting, they're still all pretty good actors, but you know, Mary Jane, she's kind of a whino in this one, and it kind of gets on my nerves for the whole thing, and it, it just does. And, you know, everything's still good, but now, uh, James Franco is the new goblin, pretty much the hobgoblin, I don't know why they call him the new goblin. But, yeah, and his, his character never seemed like, I feel like they should have cut a villain out. Like, I, I like the character of the Sandman. I really, really do like the character of the Sandman, but they, they should have cut him out. I mean, because, like, if they did this movie right, we could have seen the Spider-Man fool with the Sandman, Sam Raimi. And I mean, Venom, he's not in this enough. I mean, I'm not a big fan of Topher Grace, but I didn't, I didn't think he did too awful. But, like, I feel like Venom should have been in it a lot more so they could see it, so it could be a lot better. And now that Mary Jane, spoiler alert, knows who Spider-Man is, it's... You can feel tension game between them, which that's pretty good. But the biggest thing, the thing that breaks my back, is emo Peter. Yes, emo Peter. I mean, he walks around, he's all emo and everything. He And like Venom, when he has the Venom suit on, the black suit, you're supposed to feel, oh yeah, it gives him a sense of more power, but it's a burden, just like Doc Ock. But no, he's like being all goofy with that stupid. And there was a dancing scene where he, after he dances around, he hits Mary Jane. What? Zero to sixty? What? Ugh. And I mean, those those are just flaws. I'm gonna be honest. The end fight scene is pretty cool. I mean, Sandman fighting Hobgo Hobgoblin. I'm just gonna refer to him as Hobgoblin versus Spider Man versus Venom. But what I don't like is Venom's face peels back to show Tofu Grace's face. I still think that's stupid. I mean, really, he could have been there a lot more. So that's my main problem. I'm going to give it a good time if you don't pay. And that is it. That is a quick little recap of the Spider-Man trilogy. Goodbye. <laughs>